Now, listen, you guys, it seems like besides the tour, the documentary might actually be coming. And uh, at the same time, you guys, I Spice and Rema have finally dropped their song, the one that I spoke about yesterday. And Sheila Main is not feeling Carisha getting, uh, you know, an, an award for best hip hop platform. And at the same time, you guys, uh, Nicki Minaj's freestyle is not coming. And uh, she's out here reminding a fan that had a big mouth that she's still here and reigning. And we're going to be talking talking about that in this video hello tea lovers and welcome to the tea plug i trust you guys are doing well and i trust you are doing great personally i am doing great you guys i'm doing amazing and without further ado let us dive straight into today's tea so you guys, the streets are saying that Nicki Minaj's documentary is going to be coming out sometime soon. And um, this is according to a leak page that has been a little bit consistent on Twitter. And um, it explains why a lot of the things that have been happening uh, have been happening that way. You remember how we were like, oh my goodness, why would Missy Lee come out and basically reveal that, uh, you know, his friend got a note from Ra and previously she had denied and said it was security. Now the streets are saying that the reason why they are actually came out saying that stuff is that so they can pre-empty what the documentary may cover because they know that that part of the you know entire situation might actually be in a documentary and i was like well they might actually be onto something with that because you know everybody was like okay we know how uh, much obsessed Missy is with Nicki minaj and we know how much obsessed um you know the friend is and so why would they come out there exposing their friend and basically telling on them because she has been denying that for the longest of time okay so yeah it might be because they know that that part of um you know the situation was going to be in the documentary so they sort of want to preempt it so that you know people won't be as shocked when it actually does come out okay now personally how do i feel about the documentary i cannot wait for it i have been waiting for it and i want her to leave no stones unturned i want everything documented from how they treated her and that could be the reason why when Messi was on, um, you know, the breakfast club. Uh, Sheila Main was out here shutting him down when he was about to be on his messy behavior. It's probably because they know that the documentary is about to drop and now they want to, you know, sort of try and change and make it seem like they're fair and stuff like that. But then again, it's already too late. I mean, if Messi is out there admitting that, you know, Atlantic is paying for his lease, I mean, already, what do you expect from somebody like that? Like, if you do you understand what I'm saying? There's no objectivity in that, okay. In my profession, I would be saying that, well, objectivity has been, um, you know, compromised because there is self-interest, okay? If these people are actually paying for a lease, obviously, you're going to be biased. But then I feel like with the bias, is he takes it too far. But that being said, I want Nicki Minaj to be on their neck, okay? I want that documentary to basically document literally everything how they like from the awards to the radio stations to the dads like you know the Shalamains to the ebros to, i want it to have everything that's what i'm just gonna say I, I i cannot wait for it you guys let me know in the comment section you guys do you feel like um you know the documentary would cause so much shock and chaos i personally feel like it will cause chaos you guys and i want there to be that part of kanye was literally saying what he said okay i cannot wait for that you guys let me know what you think about that um you know in the comment section the next thing that i'm gonna be talking about you guys i spice and rema so they have finally dropped their song and i did take a listen and um i will say that with afrobeats it's a little bit tricky do you understand what i'm saying i will applaud i spice for basically trying to be versatile and i am to maybe Yet again, um, you know, listen to the song. Maybe it will then grow on me because it, as it stands right now, you guys, I, I don't know how I film, but then I only listen to the song once. You know, some songs do grow on you. But this particular one, I will have to give it time. Maybe later on, I will be able, uh, you know, to basically vibe and, you know, gel with it and stuff like that. So, I don't know, you guys. Let me know. Did you listen to I Spice and Rema's new song, okay? And um, if you did, let me know, um, you know, what you think about that. And uh, still speaking about I Spice, you guys, it is being said in the streets that she actually does have a man and, uh, you know, they're dating, but she doesn't want to go all public and everything, uh, you know, with the men. And I will say that I, I, I love her for basically respecting her privacy. But that being said, 
I hope you won't be turned into a lottery feature, okay, and be an underground hun, okay, like lottery feature is doing allegedly, um, you know, to 21 Savage. Speaking about lottery and 21 Savage, it seems like now that he's got his, you know, green card, um, now we want to know if they are going to go public. Now we want, because people would defend lottery for being with a married man saying, oh my goodness, he's just married for the papers. Oh my goodness. Now that he got his papers, let's see, is anything going to change or is our dear lottery feature still going to be, um, you know, a side one? I'm just waiting to see that. I did see that while she blocked Milagro because she had said something about him getting a green card or something like that. Well, oh my goodness. It's a mess, you guys. I hope um, the sweet iron spice will not be turned into, um, you know, a delusional, uh, you know, side chick like lottery feature, allegedly, okay? And uh, the next thing that I'm going to be talking about, you guys, Charlemagne, um on Carisha, please, winning best hip-hop platform. Now, I was like, for the first time, I might have to agree with Charlemagne because, listen, um, Carisha, please, in as much as it does wreck in huge numbers when um you know when she does um you know the shows she's not that consistent that people are putting in more work than her and of course you do know if you are on youtube you do know that if you post four videos they're probably a month or like even three videos a month or one video a month it, it's probably going to rake in more viewers than somebody who frequently posts that's just how the algorithm works okay so the numbers i did see people trying to defend her saying that oh my goodness she has the best numbers but i will say that she mostly talks about you know the bedroom you know the inner chambers and stuff like that that's mostly what she talks about and less about hip-hop and there are people who are actually talking about hip-hop more out there in the streets and i feel like they should get that recognition in my own opinion okay so i totally do agree with chela when she when he feels like you know what um you know two years in a row giving her that award it doesn't then make any sense but then again uh you know she's dating um brother love who happens to be very influential and moneyed and you do know that with these awards you can easily purchase yourself one okay you could be singing about rock you pay well you have good relations you end up winning uh you know best hip-hop uh, act of the year <laughs> so let me know you guys what you think about uh Carisha winning that it seems like she doesn't want people to talk about that because i did see her hopping into the neighborhood top comments uh section transformer style basically telling people to leave her alone and i'm like Carisha, i know that you probably admire the transformer but hopping into you know blogs comment sections is one thing that you don't need to copy from her please okay um, the next thing that I'm going to be talking about, you guys, Nicki Minaj. So it seems like the freestyle might not be coming, um, you know, today because, well, uh, she had said that, you know, the freestyle platforms, it takes, um, you know, a lot for a song or an instrumental to be cleared so that she can do the freestyle. So I do understand why maybe short notice it wouldn't have been uh, feasible. And like we were speculating, it seems like she was expecting big difference to win as well. But then I'm kind of happy because, listen, all girl was out here being messy, trying to be revealed, previewed music I, I i will talk about that in another video okay so i'm not mad at the fact that you know the freestyle didn't come i'm not mad at that so yeah let me know in the comment section you guys are you mad at the fact that well the freestyle didn't come or are you understanding that well it takes a lot of um you know clearing for the freestyle to come out and uh still speaking about Nicki Minaj, you guys it seems like she was out here you know doing the bookmark thing <laughs> So there's there was a fan you guys um uh that was out here being messy when Nicki Minaj was the first female rapper to top up uh, you know the chart since Missy Elliott in 2002 and she has officially she had officially brought back the female rapper um you know that was in 2011 I think she one of her songs had done well and uh this person said your 15 minutes are almost up okay and um Nicki Minaj posted that screenshot and said 10 years later okay with an hourglass and i'm just like yes 10 years later Nicki minaj is still here and uh, she's still winning okay and uh, there's unfortunately there's nothing anyone can do about it even the music execs couldn't do anything about it so trust me um even uh you know a fan full of bots is not a fan base full of bots is not going to do anything <laughs> do you understand what i'm saying Oh my goodness. And it's very funny how when I see these girls like lottery feature thinking that they can do what like an entire industry machine failed to do. I'm like, how slow do you have to be? Oh my goodness. Let me know you guys what you think about that in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching and uh, thank you very much for making it this far. If you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and do turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified each and every time that I post. Until my next one. 
See you.